morning. Happy Saturday. Brandon is at the station today. And so it's just me home with the two girls. Mm. If you missed my labor and delivery story, um, I posted that last week. So you should definitely go watch this because this is the first vlog that little Emma is in. So this is Emma Kate. Mm. She's six weeks old. Um, she turns seven weeks old on Monday. So she's my tiny peanut. We don't have that much going on today. Um, Ella is sick. She started gymnastics um, on Tuesday and she went on Tuesday and Wednesday and then um, not yesterday, but the night before she came down with the cold. <laughs> so we've been dealing with that and um, I'm just hoping that Emma does not catch that sickness, but who knows? It's probably going to happen. So I'm just going to deal with it. So I actually just put her in the wrap because... <laughs> We kind of have a bit of a disaster to clean up this morning. Um, I'm the kind of person that does not like to go to bed when there's a mess in the house. I don't like to go to bed when there's dishes that need to be done. I don't like going to bed when there's literally a mess at all. Like if one thing is out of place before bed, then I just don't have as great of a morning. So I'm a little bit stressed out because I have both girls and a big mess to clean up. And I'm like kind of embarrassed to even show you like what I'm dealing with right now, but I'll show you. So this is what we're working with right now. I have a sink full, I have a sink full of cups. I have crap all over the island. I have our bathtub to put away over there and it's just a mess. So hopefully she will take a little nap in the wrap because this is like her favorite napping spot ever. Kind of hoping that she will just take a little nap in the wrap so we can get some of this cleaned up. Yeah. Oh my child, I know You're hurt and you can't let go It's not your fault and you don't deserve All the bad and the hurt She has been asking me to cuddle with her. So that's what we've been doing. Um, it's 11, it's actually 11 o'clock on the dot right now. And so I just asked her, this is like our current little situation right now. <laughs> it's a dirty diaper, it's fine. Um, I asked her, I said, if you could have anything, anything you want for lunch, what would it be? And I listed like chicken nuggets or chipotle. She loves chipotle. That's one of her favorite things to eat and so I asked her you know like if you could have anything what would it be and she said chicken nuggets so I was hoping she was gonna say chipotle because I'd rather her like get some you know avocado and rice and something that's not fried and nasty but that's what she said she wanted and so I'm trying to figure out if we're just gonna have chicken nuggets that we have here or if I'm gonna take her out um, not out of the car because I am a firm believer that if your kids are sick you don't go anywhere like you you stay home <laughs> because I don't I don't think it's okay to like get um, other kids sick so if we do go somewhere um, we wouldn't be getting out of the car and she um, Emma Emma hates the car <laughs> she she's seeing a bunny rabbit right now <laughs> their paws we call them little paws um, Emma totally hates the car she She'll tolerate the car if it's moving, but the second it stops moving, she freaks. So 
Luckily, the closest McDonald's is like three minutes down the road. Um, um, but I don't think we're gonna go. I don't really wanna feed her fried nasty McDonald's. We are literally doing absolutely nothing. Like I clean the kitchen. We just sat here. This one's getting a little fussy. Um, so yeah, I don't know. We need to figure out what we're gonna do for lunch though. I know what I'm gonna eat. I eat the same thing every single day for lunch and dinner. Um, or like at least five to six days a week, I eat the same thing. And I'll show it to you guys later. It's my favorite thing ever. And you guys are gonna think I'm nuts because I literally eat it for lunch and dinner. But it's good and it's healthy. So I wanted to talk about, just ignore this situation that I've got going on. This is my only painted nail. Um, Whenever Emma hit four weeks old, or maybe she was three weeks. I think she was four weeks old. She got a bout of baby acne, um, which started off like pretty light. And Ella had it really bad. Like um, she had like really rough patches of baby acne and it literally covered her entire face. Um, it was awful. Um, so when she got it, I was like, oh no, like here we go again. But with Ella, um, she had it for like a week and then I read somewhere like to put coconut oil on it. Well, I didn't read to put coconut oil on that. It just talked about oil pulling and how people use coconut oil for oil pulling, like for whitening your teeth or cleaning your hair, things like that. And so I was like, well, maybe it'll work for her face. So I took a little bit and I rubbed it on her face and within two hours, her face was completely clear. Like it literally cleared her entire face. The first hour after, it literally pulled everything up out of the baby acne. So she had like white stuff like coming out of her face, which was kind of gross, <laughs> but then it was fixed. So I tried that with her and it didn't work. And we basically, we tried a few things. We tried um, Eucerin Baby, didn't help. Um, I cut dairy out of my diet, which I didn't cut it for a full 21 days, which is how long it takes for dairy to leave your system. but. I mean, it wasn't dairy, it's not dairy. So I, I, I was allergic to dairy. But I, I tried so many things and um, we couldn't figure it out. And finally, the other day I figured it out. So I gave her a bath and then I put on the Johnson's Classic Pink Baby Lotion all over her, which is the same thing that I've been doing. And we, luckily she was clear for a day. So her face is pretty clear. So then, Anyway, so I put, I gave her a bath with the Johnson's Cotton um, newborn wash. And then I put the classic pink lotion on on her. And within, within minutes, her entire face was broken out. So we pretty much decided that it was, she just has sensitive skin. So I wanted to talk about this. Um, some of my favorite, favorite YouTubers have been using this and they said it's like worked wonders for their babies. Um, it's this So Luxury Coconut Oat Bath. Um, coconut and oat milk bath. There's, it's natural, vegan, and there's no chemicals and no preservatives in this. I'm obsessed. First of all, I, I emptied it into a different container because this zipper doesn't really work that well. First of all, this smells so good. I, I want to eat it. And when she gets out of the bath, she smells divine. So there's, um, it says that all you do is you just add a one to three tablespoons to warm running bath water intended to replace soap. So we haven't used soap on her. Um, and it says no soap or rinsing required. The first time I used it, I rinsed her and then I, I read it again and I was like, oh, I guess I didn't need to do that. I rinsed it out of her hair though, because she'll have grains all in her hair, like grainy stuff from the oat bath. Um, but I don't rinse it off her skin. So the, it's 100% certified organic ingredients and there's one, two, three, four, five, six things in here. Um, so yeah, this stuff, if you have a baby that's got sensitive skin, check this out. I'll enter, I'll put up um, a before and an after picture. This is after two, she's had two baths now with this. But yeah, her face, I'll get close so you can kind of see. Her face is, it's doing really well, like really well. She is so dang cute. Is that it? Here, give it to mommy. Does anyone else's head do this? Because I think I created a whipped cream monster. She loves this.
You want some? I'll just do a little. Yeah. What? Small? Okay. <laughs> Is it good? Do you want more? Mommy needs help. Mommy needs help. You want some? You're not supposed to put your mouth on it. You have a cold. One more. Don't put it in your, I'm not putting it in your mouth. Ah. No. I'll do it small. Ah. See, it's small. My sister-in-law got this chair for Emma and she loves it. She loves it, loves it, loves it. She'll sit in here for like 10, 15, maybe even 20 minutes at a time um, because she loves looking at this lion. Is that your lion? Do you love it? Mommy. Oh, got fire truck? It's cold, yeah, because you put it in the fridge last night. I love it. Oh, no. What? It broke. It broke? Let me turn it on. Okay, so we finally figured out what we're going to do for lunch. Um, it's been almost an hour already, and we are, we are doing a picnic. So she is watching Puppy Pals and having a picnic and she's having, what are you having for lunch, Ella? Hot. What are you, they're hot. What are you having? This pouch. You're having this pouch. So she's having um, Tyson dinosaur chicken nuggets um, and a Danimals. Toy Story pouch or yogurt and then she's having a banana pumpkin pouch so that's what we're doing for lunch I'm about to heat up my lunch I'm going to show you guys what I um, have been eating okay so my meal has thawed and I'm just going to show you what it is because it's so delicious um this is what it looks like I don't know if that helps if you can see it very well but um what it is is um, zucchini, squash, sweet potato, roasted chickpeas, um, quinoa, um, caramelized onions and mushrooms, and chicken. So it's just a, basically a power bowl. That's what it looks like. It is delicious. Sometimes I'll put like a little Italian dressing on the quinoa, um, but most of the time I just eat a plain. I'm going to go eat this while my baby is sleeping and while my toddler is eating, and I'm going to enjoy it because it's kind of quiet in the house. So it's been a couple of hours and we did <laughs> we did um, lunch time, rest time, we played with toys, mommy cleaned your room, right? Did I clean your room? Yeah. She's being what? Ouchie Tussie. I got a Tussie. Tussie Ouchie? Hey you back. Hey <laughs> so yeah, it's 2.30 right yeah. now, and a good nugget, say a good nugget, a good nugget, a good nugget, <laughs> So this is the part of the whole day in the life that kind of is boring <laughs> because it's 2 30 and we have nothing to do literally nothing because ella is sick i'm here without my husband because he's at the fire station so this is kind of the part where we just don't do anything huh. super fun over here <laughs> This is kind of what we're up to right now. It's kind of what we're up to right now. Who goes with the phone, right? Or who goes with Rapunzel? Oh, I just gave you the answer. A boat. A boat? Yeah, our neighborhood. Right here? Can you hand mommy the brown? Oh. That's, okay. that's orange. Hand mommy the brown. Mm. Yep, yeah, no, A. The big brown crayon. You know what color brown is. So we're gonna draw a boat. You wanna draw a boat right here? Yeah. Okay. How do we how do we draw a boat? A beach. Like this? Yeah. Boat. 
What does Rapunzel ride in a boat for? What does she What does she see when she's in the boat? The light. Yeah, she um, sees the lights. Um, me my toes. We do. We erase it. Oh yeah, mommy put shoes on her, huh? Rapunzel doesn't have shoes, huh? No, no have shoes. No shoes. No shoes. No shoes. No erase it. Well, we can't erase it. Well, I might. You want me to color white over it? It doesn't really take the purple away. Shall we redo Rapunzel? Should we call her color her again? Wait, here's this one. Mm. Orange. Yeah, orange. It will be all time. Oh, and then what color is the bottom of her dress? She has a big tushy. She a big tushy. She white. Snow White has a big tushy. Nah. Nah. <laughs> no, wait, wait. More. Eh. Eh. <laughs> Mommy, it's right. Mommy, wait. Do you like it? Mm. An apple. She needs an apple. What color? Apple. A red apple, right? Wait. Well, she also needs a head. And a head. She doesn't have a head. Ha. Mom. The owl. The owl. Bow the ball. The wow, wow, wow. Bow the ball. Uh oh. Yeah. Miss Emma just woke up from a nap in her swing. Did you just wake up? Are you gonna do some smiling? Yeah. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Wait, don't breathe on her face. You have sickies. You have sickies. You don't want to get her sicky. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, you got sickies, baby. Mommy, color. Color? I want you to do some coloring. Hi, pretty girl. So it's 4.18 and we are kind of getting into that part of the day that's just more challenging than the rest of the day usually. So she is, Ella is a little bit more feisty at this point in time. Um, this one is trying to decide like kind of what she wants to do and yeah, it's just kind of that time of day. So I don't know what we're gonna do for the rest of the night. I know in about an hour, we're gonna go ahead and get dinner going. Um, I will be eating the same thing that I had for lunch and I don't really know what I'm gonna be doing for the girl, or for the girls. Emma's gonna be drinking milk. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm gonna be doing for Ella yet. Um, Brandon, um, I told you earlier, he's at the station. So he does 24 on, 48 off. So, um, he went to the station at 8 a.m. this morning, so he'll get home, or he'll be off the shift at 8 a.m. tomorrow, unless he gets mandatory, which I, he hasn't said it yet, but I almost, I kind of have a feeling that he might get mandatory, which means he has to stay another night, like another 24-hour shift. I just feel like that's going to happen because it hasn't happened for a while, so we'll see, but if... That's my prediction, is that he's going to stay. Is somebody craving attention? Yeah. Hi. 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 How to get two super sweet baby girls? Huh? Hey, no yelling, please. Nope, no yelling. Hey, I said no yelling. Hey, 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 be sweet. No, you're going to hit Emma. Okay, so it's 5.30 and we went ahead and went out and got Chipotle. She was really wanting Chipotle and, well, she calls it Molly's. She's got like matted hair from her car seat. Well, it's not matted, but it's all fluffy. 
Um, she really loves Chipotle's guacamole. So that's what we're doing for dinner tonight. Um, she she is just chowing down, having some rice and rollies. She's, she mixes up her guacamole and the rice. Everything that you thought you should Didn't seem to do you any good vlog here um i just put ella down for bed and it was a little rough um because emma was asleep in our room and um ella just started screaming and I woke up so i literally had two screaming babies but <laughs> and emma just had a blowout so um ella actually fell asleep before i could even get back in there to cuddle with her um, so she's asleep i just wiped her nose and tucked her in and I'm gonna go ahead and wind down because I'm a little stressed out, to be honest with you. Like, I'm just gonna, I always say, like, there's a lot of um, glamour portrayed on Instagram and YouTube, and I always said that if I start a vlog, I'm going to be as real as possible. So I'm just gonna say, <laughs> tonight was a hot mess. I'm really stressed out. I'm gonna change Emma, get her, like, nursed, and then I'm gonna have a glass of wine and watch some trash TV. <laughs> So, so with that, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked this video. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.